Hello, everyone. Kurt Kelly here in beautiful Tallahassee, Florida, week two of the legislative session. So we are deep into it already. It really started fast this year. We've got a lot going on. Committee hearings are already uh, in place. Some of our legislation is moving forward. But of course, our big agenda this year is trying to make sure that we're making the argument for the stabilization of our workforce. And so I'm having multiple conversations with all kinds of folks, stakeholders, different groups, uh, but particularly with members of the House and the Senate. And we are continuing to have those conversations. Now, as we start getting further along, we're going to begin to see uh, where the allocations come from leadership into the different areas. Ours is in the healthcare area, and so we're going to be able to watch that, and that'll give us an understanding of how our work is paying off and all the things that we're doing. I want to thank my legislative team. I have got a great team. Of course, you know Victoria Zepp. You're talking with her. For those of you who are involved with our legislative committee, you're hearing about some of the stuff that's coming up right now legislatively, and so we do ask you to stay uh, in touch because there are times we just have to have quick information. We're about ready to go into committee. And so I know Victoria is pulling some quick meetings together on that. Uh, Chip Case is over there helping us as we are working uh, with our leadership. Scott Jenkins is doing an amazing work. I, in our communications, and we're really getting a good top of mind awareness. I hope you've seen some of the material that we are putting out there, some of the television and reporting that's taken place. I had a big one that went across the state last week. So all of these things that we're doing, and of course, Beth Lebaski is uh, the most loved person in Tallahassee. She walks into those halls and everybody knows her and loves her. And uh, so she's opening the doors for me to get in there and have some great conversations. That's our legislative team. Our staff is doing a marvelous job, a long hours and so forth right now. One of the reasons we have the long hours is we're leading up to next week, Rally in Tally. We'll be here working on Sunday as we prepare and doing some dress rehearsals and things of that nature with the folks from Selfless Love who've done a marvelous job in putting some stuff together for this event. But this event really has a, a focal day on Monday, Monday the 24th. We'll start at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock registration. Please be there. By the way, you might want to wear something warm. I hear it's going to that Arctic blast is supposed to hit us. Uh, I'm hearing something like temperatures at 27 here. Thank you. You folks in South Florida are going to love that. Uh, but uh, come on in. Uh, 8 o'clock, start getting registered. 9 o'clock, we'll get started. 9.30, I'm expecting the secretary to come and address us and to spend some time with us. We're looking forward to that and uh, as we continue to build that relationship. And then at 10 o'clock, I've got a special couple of special guests that we're going to bring in to uh, speak to our folks. Then we're going to go into some of the training that we're going to talk about how to get into the halls, how to follow up with some of that stuff. And of course, Victoria will always do her legislative update and where we are in our status. So it's going to be a full day. When a about 2.30, I'm expecting for us to have a press conference. And if you're here, I want you to be a part of that press conference as we're going to make the case for workforce stability and the $40 million that we're asking for. After that, we're going to have a great event that night. Uh, so it's an action-packed day. We're going to have a lot of legislators here. I'm starting to hear legislators are coming, and this is where I need your help. Please go out and talk to your legislators. Make a personal invite for them to come and be a part of this. Have them join the Foster and Adoptive Caucus. We want them to do that. We're going to take some pictures with them. We want you to invite them and uh, bring them to our event. Uh, it, you're, they're going to get to hear from our children. They're going to get to hear the heart of what we do, and that's really important. So with all of this big week next week, I won't even try to tell you all the other things we've got going on. And then, of course, as the session goes along, everything sort of compresses into uh, all the stuff we've been working on trying to get the answers and so forth. As soon as the legislative session's over, we've got phase two of some things that we're working on. With all that, I hope you have a great weekend. And then get up here to Tallahassee, bring some warm clothes. We look forward to actually being with you. It's fun for us. Um, this is a challenging work. But it's all worth it when I get to see what it is that you do and I get to tell your story. And so that's the joy of what we do here at the coalition. With all of that said, thank you. Hope you have a great weekend. God bless you.